All right. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> oh, shit. All right, guys. We are back building another jet boat. We got these two 1989 Yamaha 500s. But the plan is to... I'm hoping to use both and make a, another jet boat and then do another harbor freight predator jet boat with these because i believe these have cast aluminum intakes so i won't be using really any of the hull on these so i'm gonna get these in the garage start tearing into them see if the motors even run and go from there but got a pretty good deal on them it's kind of always nice to have two so when you miss route something or install it wrong and check on the other one so yeah i'm excited stay tuned all right so we got one of the motors in uh just kind of mocking stuff up i got the wench there had to lift that thing up few times to get this where I want it nothing's set in stone yet and then as you can see I was saying before they got that cast intake and I did get a Harbor Freight motor for here's the other one <laughs> for this one I think I'm going to put it in that 10 foot boat. So I don't know if I'll have it on this video. Um, building both. And I have another boat. So hopefully both of those jet skis. At least majority of the parts will get used. Alright so I got this done. But before I forget. I mentioned before I got this Predator 212 pull start. But I'm torn on, I really want an electric start. So I got this kind of mounted up and ready. Kind of like the other one, except for I'm not using the hull and I'm using this Yamaha Wave Runner intake. And I'm thinking about a built Tilton with electric start. And then because I want to build the motor, getting a billet flywheel, which I think is only like one on the market for electric start but please if you guys are following along with these builds in the comments let me know what motor you think i'm thinking like the smaller displacement motors as opposed to like the 420s and stuff like i had in the other one and then still probably do chain uh maybe cvt or some type of clutch system um but this is just got done. <sighs> so I figured between these two, I might as well try to make one work. And then I basically have a spare motor now and using that intake for the Predator boat build. I don't know if I'll get this out today or not, but on every one of these jet boats, I've had to cut the steering to shorten it so it's not sticking way out here but i did make my own throttle cable on this one but other than that i didn't do anything other than mount the jet ski in this is the first one i built somewhat making my own engine mounts it's i forgot what degree angle i had to put this on to match this and i put an upgraded carb in i did not build a spoon yet but i know kelsey should we go out boating you uh, actually before i do that i should weld on some uh because we put these in the river most of the time it's good to put brackets on the end so i'll do that i'm really torn on the harbor freight motor what what i'm gonna do yet so stay tuned that'll probably be the next boat that's, I mean, now that this is done, I'll focus all my time on that.
All right, guys, we got ourselves an adventure. Ran into some people and I was testing this at the dock and they went downstream and say they forgot to put the drain plug in. Holy crap. <laughs> oh. So, they gave me a pump. And I'm gonna try to pump it out for him, but dang. Let's go. Good old sun chaser. Look at that motor. It's so good. I gotta find the drain plug, but dang. All right, so there's definitely no drain plug in it, and I don't know why, but the one they gave me doesn't even fit the hole. So, and this is non-adjustable kind. So I don't know what to do. They gave me this water pump, and I'm actually curious on how they even got home. <laughs> they said they even called the Coast Guard, and it would be like four grand. But I don't know. Kelsey's with them at my truck and I'll have them call me back and see what they want to do.